All right, we just completed our first full week of trading in 2017. The S&P 500 set a new record at 2,276. Everybody's wondering if the Dow will reach 20,000. So the word we're hearing right now concerning stocks is this word right here. Boy, stocks are really expensive. So I want to talk about this and give you some perspective. On the 12th of December in 2016, I wrote a blog uh, where I was talking about Reagan and Trump and the differences of them coming into the office. And I used an analogy that I got a lot of feedback concerning the, the price, the expensiveness, if you will, the price to earnings ratio on the S&P 500. And the analogy I used is, look, if you have a house and that, that house, that size of that house or that building represents the stock market and you have these foundations, let's say, you know, the house is built on water, for instance, and you have pillars that are underneath it. Someone would look at this house and look at these pillars and go, you know what, that, that looks like a pretty good ratio. I think that number of pillars can hold up that house. But if the house gets this big then and you have these same number of pillars you're looking and you go Ooh, i don't i don't know about that and so that's what people were saying is the market's getting away from itself the house is getting too big compared to the pillars and this thing's teetering and eventually it's just going to what it's going to tip over and, and correct so let's take this context and really understand pe price to earnings ratio so first of all, what is a ratio? You know, a ratio is a relationship of quantities of two different things. So we're talking about price, that's our numerator, and earnings, that's our denominator. Okay, so let's just go through some simple math here. If our numerator is 100 and our denominator is 5, that equals a ratio of 20. Now, if we want this number to go down, if we want 20 to go down, we can do one of two things. We can adjust the numerator and make it 80 while the denominator, not, denominator stays at 5. So 80 divided by 5 is 16. Now, let's say we wanted to keep this at 100. How else could we affect and make this ratio go down? Well, we could increase the denominator. We could make the denominator 6. So 6 into 100 equals what? It equals 16. So my point in going through this math is that people are saying that stocks, the price, the price is expensive. And one way to solve that is for it to what? The market to correct, the market to sell off, the market to go down. So in other words, use this scenario where the 100 goes to 80, where the earnings stay stable. So if this happens, sure enough, stocks will be what? They will be less expensive okay now but as we just saw here there's another way to adjust this expensiveness and that is that earnings could go up we could drive earnings up and that was my point in the blog if you haven't read the blog about the difference between reagan and trump i implore you to go to the rob brinkman academy and look at that because the issues i was trying to vet are trump can affect the earnings just through the enthusiasm of what of build let's build let's build a wall let's build the economy let's build infrastructure and if this building goes on companies can increase their earnings but there's a time factor the earnings have to increase quickly quickly enough before other things get out of hand right so my point to this is i think the market can go up i think yes do, do i agree that stocks are expensive yes i agree explanation point okay i do agree however if earnings can increase then in this situation here if earnings can increase then in a relative sense in a ratio sense of expensiveness the stock market can continue to go up all right so let's take all of this math that we just went through and let's apply it to some wall street math if you will and we can do that by going back to the price to earnings ratio there's an economist named robert schiller who actually won a nobel prize for his analysis of the price of the s p 500 so the price of all the the companies that make up the s p 500 and we know the p 
PE that's called actually called the Schiller PE ratio. They named it after him, which makes sense. So the price of the S&P divided by the earnings of these corporations, right? And so that ratio over block over long periods of time in blocks of 10, he did 10 year blocks of measurement. The average uh, of the S&P PE was 16. So here it is right here. Here's the ratio. So the average, you can see that the average is 16. So the average is in this period of time right through here. Okay. Now, there are some other measurements that people have done with the Schiller that anything above 27 is danger zone. And in fact, in the blog that I wrote on December 12th, it was actually above this, it was 27.9%. And you can see that right here, this was a measurement as of last week, so it's around 28. And there's different ways of measurement. You're going to see this off by a digit or two. So let's look at a period of times where it was above 27. Well, the crash in 1929. This was the internet bubble, the whole crash there. And then this was 08 here, right? Now, not every time it goes up, for instance, this period of time here, does it result in a major correction. So that's just... just this period right here should show you that just because we're here doesn't mean we're, we're a, a major collapse is imminent, right? I think a lot of this is because uh, what's going on with Trump and the enthusiasm and the build and trying to get out of this stagnating economy that we've had for the last eight years. So since we started with math, let's kind of end with math so you can see how we got to that current ratio of of 28 where we're at on the S&P right now. So the S&P closed at 2,276, okay? The current earnings of all the corporations that make up the S&P 500, I'll show you right here, you can see it's currently at 87.7. That's a, that's a few days old, but it, it's fair enough for what we're trying to accomplish here. So we take the S&P, so this is the price, divided by earnings, which is 87, right? So price divided by earnings, that equals today, when I'm doing this video, is 26. So this is what people are saying that stocks are expensive. No argument. No argument there. My point is that through Trump, the build, the enthusiasm, that the corporate earnings, this has a chance to really swing higher. So that's what we're going to have to watch for over the next you know, quarter's of this year is will the earnings of companies start ticking up if the earnings go up that drives this ratio what as we saw earlier it drives that ratio down okay all right so i hope all this math and a little history on pe was helpful for you as always go to the rob brinkman academy and look at the videos there read that blog on trump and reagan i think would be very helpful for you and i appreciate you hanging in there and watching this one thanks much